Hello there, my name is Aldo Vokter, and in this video I'm going to show you how to properly fight as an Alioramus. Now, my time with the creature are pretty limited, so one of your more experienced Alioramus players might not agree with everything I say, and any future update may change the way you play as this creature, so take what I say as temporarily strategies. Now we will be going over this creature's arsenal, the subspecies you should try to grow, its terrain compatibility, and the types of fight you can find yourself in, be it against low tiers, mid tiers, and high tiers, and at the end I'll summarize. Before I start with the arsenal, I remember when I updated the Allosaurus combat guide and I made fun of the Allosaurus for having a pretty limited arsenal. The Allioramus takes that to a whole nother level. The head ability consists of only one ability, the normal standard head abilities. No FX, no bleed, no bone break whatsoever. Really dull and boring, though considering the gaming experience you can get from this guy, it fits. The senses abilities brings a bit more spice to the meal, three of them to be exact. The first one are Lone Survivor that increases your maneuverability and also justifies the reason for you not having any friends. The second ability are All for One that increases attack when you're in group. What, a 1v1 one too hard for you, you weak ass pansies? The third ability are Ambush that increases your attack, but only for the first attack that you land, basically making it a one hit wonder. If you enter combat mode before you land a blow, then, just like how you're trying to explain why the T-Rex are better than the Spinosaurus, it's useless. You have two options for hide abilities, the first one being Dense Feathers. It has an ability that does nothing to increase its defense, great naming choice. The other option are slick feathers that will cause raptors to be hit by struck by a smooth criminal. Do keep in mind that this hide will become less liable once the update hits. For leg abilities, you have three options on how to choke your enemies. The first ability I'll leave that doesn't really choke your enemies, but you might leave them breathless by jumping so high. And just because it says fall damage decrease, don't be stupid and jump off a cliff. The second ability are Long Distance Runner that decreases your stamina drain and increases your potential in battle. Battle. Increases your potential in battle. Ever wanted to be a ballet dancer? Put traction on, it increases your turning speed. Now you can dance around the enemies so they won't know what the fuck is going on. The tail abilities are two options, the first one being Balanced Tail, turning the game more like into the aisle. The second ability, and get this the aisle, it's a tail attack for carnivores. That's illegal. The voice ability are Tyrant Roar that increases your attack but it only works in groups, so it encourages you to make friends. When it comes to what subspecies you should choose to grow, I'd say it kinda depends on the level of your aggressiveness, and also your preferred choice of terrain. In my case, I've been able to fight more aggressively with the extra stamina recovery and turning speed. That doesn't mean you can't do that with the extra jump height, however, it has forced me to be a bit more reserved with my attacks. However, if you're new and you want to pick up the Alloramus, then I would recommend the turning speed. For terrain compatibility, I'd say pretty much everywhere works for the Alloramus. The worst enemy for the Alloramus would be gravity, second only to laggy servers. The Allio aren't really a glass can per se, more like a glass flamethrower, does damage over time and pretty weak when you hit it. In other words, the fighting style you need to aim for are the cowardly hit and run and therefore you need a terrain to suit that. Before I go on to what to do against low tiers, I first need to say about arsenal. I can only recommend. Your means of damage dealing are literally just a bite and a tail if you equip that. If not, then your only way to deal damage is just by biting. And that's why I can't really give an answer when it comes to what arsenal you should choose. You just need to figure out what suits you on the fly. Now regarding the low tiers, you will probably experience one of the most annoying fights. In my opinion, the Alloramus is a low tier himself, however, he is one of the higher class of low tiers. Regardless, you are both low tiers, so you can expect a high speed fight. These fights can be annoying, especially if you play on laggy servers, it will be near impossible to hit your opponent. How to deal with that you ask? Instead of speeding up, you need to slow down. In a fight with stats against stats, you do have the advantage against the lowest class or low tier. That's why, do not speed up, just slow down. The stat of bleeders are usually not as good compared to those of the brawlers. 
Deliorimus does not have any bleed, bone break, or any other status effects he can inflict on others. His attacks are rather decent though, at least compared to those of somewhat similar stats. But even if he has a rather decent damage output, he is by no means tanky. I mean, just look at him. You can tell he's been skipping leg day. Fortunately, he hasn't skipped any jogging lessons, and he has the stamina to run for days, even if he is affected with poison. That's why you need to utilize your speed advantage to the max. Use that speed to outflank your enemy. against creature who has rather decent turning circle, and you need to face them in a competition of turning circle. If they do get behind you, and you need to utilize your superior speed to run out, turn around and then just face them head on. Always make sure you have stamina to spare, it might save you. Again, Alioremus are quick on their feet. It is this vast difference in speed that you need to utilize properly to defeat those who have higher stats than you. When it comes to arsenal against higher tiers, then I can only recommend what you see here. Again, you only have one or two options on how to deal damage, and your abilities and nature are pretty much suited for hits and run, so you should just invest in that area. While speed depends, you definitely have the better turning circle. Utilize your ability to turn around quicker, and then hit them from behind. Again, despite looking like a fragile dinosaur, you have pretty decent damage output. You might even send the mid tiers running. Now remember, even though you might have had a decent damage output, that doesn't mean you can win against a mid tier in a head to head clash. You are still not tanky. Like I said, you need to utilize your superior turning circle to get behind your mid tier and then hit them from behind. Even though tankiness isn't your forte, you can tank a few tail hits. As long as you stay behind your enemy, deal a ton of damage and also dodge any incoming attacks, then the victory are sure to be yours. Now I'm just gonna say this out now, you should probably not fight a 1v1 against high tiers, the stat difference are just too much. Even if you dodge and bait to the best of your abilities, the apexes are too thick for you to handle alone, or as long as the apex player are the retard. And don't think that the same tail riding will work on these enemies just because they are slower than mid tiers. You're just one guy, and even though you're fast, you're not impossible to keep track on. What's more, you are a rather tall creature, so you can't really use the surrounding vegetation to hide your presence. Even if you get behind them, that doesn't mean you're out of danger yet. To make things worse, most apexes have received the storm for area of effect. If you get hit by that, then you can expect the fight to end. And again, tankiness aren't your forte. Just by getting hit a few times, you can count yourself out. Bottom case, if you're new, you should definitely not mess with apexes. If you insist on being stubborn, then I hope you have patience. Just do whatever I said about staying behind your opponent, 
continue attacking for 30 minutes or an hour, and then you'll eventually see results. By that time, the Apex player may have gotten so fed up that he might just let you have the win. This is not recommended for new Alio Ramis players. No need to make things harder for you, just group up with other Alio Ramis players and then you can hunt them. To summarize, against low tier slow class, force them into a head to head clash by slowing down, forcing them to face you head on. Against low tier high class, Turn this into a battle of turner areas and try to get as many bites in as you can by staying on the ass. Against mid tiers, do the same, stay on the ass and just keep biting. Against apexes, don't try to fight apexes. But if you insist, just continue with the same strategy. If you have any specific issue you want me to cover, go to my community post. Look for the most recent post regarding the matter and it all should say how to do it there. With that, I bid you guys adieu and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.